While the ability to stop your cat's bad behavior is certainly a worthy topic, you likely won't get too far in the process unless you have a sound understanding of the why component involved. All of the wonderful teaching and training methods can often fall short if the reason or reasons for your cat's behavior has not been identified. Solving for the why is, in most cases, the very best form of control when it comes to calming your cat's behavior. As a quick example, let's say you have a small child and they enter your bedroom screaming and crying during the night. Talking to them, encouraging them, even comforting them in that moment likely won't do very much without identifying and understanding the reason for the emotional display in the first place. Was it a bad dream? Is it a stomachache, an earache, loud noises outside? Being equipped with the why will provide you with a degree of power and it can guide you in the right direction when it comes to calming the child and ultimately solving the problem. It's not exactly breaking news, but cats don't speak our language. It's not like you can ask your cat why he knocked over the lamp and then listen as he provides a long explanation concerning his feelings and recent developments in his life. It's going to be up to you to find the root of the problem. And in most cases, the core reason for misbehaviors can be placed in one of three buckets stress, health issues, attention. Let's start with stress. Changes in the environment, new people in the home, new animals in the home, new furniture, new routines. Cats are very emotionally sensitive and it truly doesn't take much to burst that bubble of comfort and security. When a cat's anxiety level pegs the meter, things can take a rather aggressive and unruly turn. Knocking things over, turning over that food and water bowl, jumping on tables, just getting into anything and everything. If your cat's misbehaving has been constant, but yet seem to originate suddenly, attempt to find the why. Can you trace things back to the first day of the bad behavior? What happened on that day? Did something change in your home on that day? Something subtle. Keep in mind, minor things can be major events to a cat, especially if whatever it is, introduces or introduced a bit of uneasiness when it comes to the daily routine and overall sense of security. Once a cat starts to question where they stand in the grand scheme of things, they can become anxious, depressed, and even aggressive. Let's now shift things over to health. And while it is common for unwell felines to display lethargy and almost become a shell of who they once were, with respect to engagement, that's not always the case. If your cat is in a lot of pain, the physical discomfort could boil over into anger. Your pet's misbehavior could be due to the fact they're unable to relax and settle down due to how they're feeling. If your cat's overall personality has changed and they seem a lot more anxious and on edge with aggressive outbursts, there could be a lot going on or a lot more going on than just that contrarian behavior at work. Your pet could be suffering. Please take your cat to the vet if you are concerned especially if your cat's misbehavior is coupled with a lack of food consumption and the inability to relax. Frantic meowing for seemingly no reason at all is another indicator that your cat could be suffering from a medical issue. And finally, let's wrap things up with attention, the desire for attention. If the run-of-the-mill tactics such as meowing, rubbing against you, purring, following you around, if the basics are just not working, your cat could attempt to engage in different tactics. Increased aggression could be the next step. I mentioned earlier that cats, they, they don't speak our language. Well, the inability for us to always understand, that can be frustrating for old Garfield. He could get a bit upset, to say the least. Okay, I've meowed, circled around you, purred, followed you, rubbed against you, stared at you. And my food bowl is still empty. Okay, that's fine. How about I knock over this lamp? Do I have your attention now? 
Some cats will begin to misbehave if an owner is simply unable to read body language and vocal cues. Many times, especially in the early days of ownership, this can happen. And if you've never really been around cats in almost any capacity prior to actual ownership, this can be all the more common. Always pay attention to your cat's body language. A misunderstanding could potentially result in misbehavior and aggression. And if you have anything to add to the conversation, perhaps a story to share, please hit me up in the comments section below. And until next time, thanks for watching.